Welcome to Genie, the game-based authoring tool that is the nemesis of dull online learning. Now that you've seen how to add team members and assign roles and permissions, it's time to build your game. To create a new game, simply click Learning Quests, and then click Create New Quest. This opens the Course Creator Wizard, a simple five-step process that will be over in no time. Note that in the top left here, there is an information symbol, which, when clicked, displays information that will help you to assemble your game. Keep an eye out for these as we proceed. So, as advised, now upload a suitably attention-grabbing image. Give your quest a title. and then add a snappy description. Then click Save. And the next step is just as simple. Here is where you add any images, assets, or documents that you'd like to share with your learners. First, let's create a bespoke folder for this quest. Click Create New Folder, and then type your quest title in the field provided. Before clicking Save to store your changes. Then click Open. Click Add New. Then either drag and drop your required files, or click Browse to locate and select them. And then simply click Next. Which brings us nicely to the third step within the Course Creator Wizard. Your task now is to add some quiz questions. To do this, we advise following the same process as for adding content. Click Create New Folder. Give the folder a title. And then click Save to store your changes. Now click Open. Click Add New, and here select the type of question that you wish to add. For example, true or false. Enter your statement in the true or false field, tick whether the answer is true or false, and then if required, provide some positive and negative feedback. Then once you're ready, click Save. The question has been successfully created, meaning that you now have to select it and then click Next. So with that done, let's move on to Step 4 within your Course Creator Wizard. This is where you can add badges. First, let's make a home for them. Click Create New Folder. Give your folder a title. And then click Save. Again, click Open. Click Add New. Upload a snazzy pic. Give your badge a title and description. And finally click Add. At this point, you can click Preview to see what your badge will look like to your learners. And once you're through reviewing, click Close, and then click Next. You are now ready to select your learning game, which is the final part of the Course Creator Wizard. Use the dots in the centre to browse among the available games, which are guaranteed to retain learner retention whether you're into platformers, puzzles, or shoot em ups. Then once you've identified your favourite, for example, the Mountain Master, just click to launch the builder. And remember that your decision now 
doesn't have to be final, as you can change the game template at any time once within the builder. In the second part of this video, we're going to explore the Quest Builder screen. At this point, it is a good idea to think about how you would like to structure your course. This will help you to determine how many slides you will need and the assets you will require. A good piece of learning content will typically contain a title slide, a learning objective slide, a content slide or slides, a quiz slide, and a conclusion or goodbye slide. As you're creating mobile-ready learning games, these slides should be as short and snappy as possible. Also, there are preset limitations on the number of assets that you can have on each slide. This ensures that your learners have the best experience possible. As you can see, each slide contains three buttons. These provide handy shortcuts to help you build your game. The square arrows enable you to upload more assets. Meanwhile, the painter's palette is another means of accessing the configure slide options, which you will explore shortly. Finally, the eye here allows you to publish or unpublish your intro. Let's start with the title slide, our intro. To create this, click Intro. The header and paragraph fields are now activated for you to insert and format some attention-grabbing text. Likewise, selecting Insert Dynamic Text will enable you to insert both the learner name and course title, thus personalizing your course. After that, change the background colour if you wish, and then click Save to store your changes. This opens a preview of what your learner will see. Whether they use a smartphone, a tablet, or a PC. You are now ready to create your learning objective slide. Again click Slides. Now click Add New Content. And here you have to select the type of content that you want to add. For example, since this is your learning objective slide, you may wish to add some text. You might, for example, Add some content to your header, some dynamic text, then complete your paragraph and make any additional formatting changes. Then if required, choose your background colour And finally, click Save to see what your text will look like to learners. Your game is taking shape nicely. Next, let's insert a content slide. Click Slides. Then click Add New Content. Select the type of content you wish to add. For example, image. Open the folder that you created earlier. Preview the image if you wish. And once you're ready, ensure that you have selected it, which you will be able to tell by the bar turning grey, and click Select. As you can see, The image has now been added to the preview screen, and you can now add text to the header and paragraph fields, if you wish replacing the text that is there already. Now insert the background colour, and finally click Update to see what your content slide 
will look like to learners. This brings us nicely to the next item to be entered, namely the quiz slide. Click slides. Again, click add new content. And this time, click questions. Then locate the question that you added earlier. From here, click on it and then click select. And the preview screen immediately updates with the question as the user will see it. And if you wish to retain the same colors as before, this can be done in the same way as when you formatted your other slides. And once you're done, just click update to view your changes. Now it's time to associate your question with a badge so that your learner has an added incentive to answer correctly. Click add badge. From here, locate your preferred badge. Your badge has now been assigned, and your next step is to determine how many in-game points it merits, which we will leave set at 100. And also, the required pass mark. So once you've made the necessary changes, just click Update to fix your settings. The final slide to complete then is the Goodbye or Outro slide. To do this, just click Slides and then Outro. After which, you can complete the Header and Paragraph fields, while remembering that here again, you can use the dynamic text to personalise your commendation. And finally, click Save to display an inspirational message for your champion learner. At this point, you are almost ready to launch your game. But before that, there are some final tweaks that you can carry out. Click Quest Settings. And here is where you can make various adjustments to your game, such as enabling a leaderboard so your learners can compare their progress against each other, and providing single-use wildcards for those moments when your learners are stumped. Meanwhile, you can even change the game template just by clicking here. So once you've made all of the necessary tweaks, click Update. So now that you've got all of the elements of your game in place, you can click Preview to give it a test drive. And from there, just follow the on-screen prompts. For now, however, Let's return to the Learning Quest screen. As the crucial final step upon building your game is to export it to your learning platform of choice, such as Growth Engineering's Academy LMS. To do this, all you have to do is return to the Learning Quest screen and then click the Export icon to be found here between the eye and the trash can in your Quest toolbar. Doing this produces the options to export zipped files. Simply choose the option that's most compatible with your system and then click to export. So now that you've seen how easy it is to build a game in Genie, why not try making your own? Best of luck.